Hello there, Father Tom Coyce here. I would like to introduce another series in my marvelous YouTube channel, Unlike Other Nation. This one is going to be <clears throat> Mind Wrinkling in the Ultimate Manner. It will be about heaven um, because it is really the most important thing to be thinking about. I would like to unpack some of the beautiful wisdom that's in Peter Kreft's great book called Whatever you wanted to know, everything you ever, ever everything you ever wanted to know about heaven, um, by Peter Kreft. It's a very philosophical, but also very practical and very wise and very worthy for spiritual, prayerful meditation. Now, the first thing you might ask is, what do you know about heaven? Have you ever been there? Well, no, I haven't, but I do have a brain. And it's clear that God has revealed at least some things about himself through, through history and something we call the Bible. So let's begin with this one thought. The more we know about God, the more we will know about heaven. The less we know about God, the less we will know about heaven. I feel compelled to share this series, these meditations with you, for three major reasons. First, well, my dear mother asked me to do such a thing. She thanked me, but said, Dear son, Father Tom, I don't really understand it so well. So I told her that I'm going to unpack it for her, for you, for me, for everyone. In fact, it is a beautiful way to meditate on the issues of religion without really talking about religion. It's one thing to say, I don't want to talk about religion. It's another thing to say is, I don't want to talk about heaven, or I don't care what life after death is like. Really? We should care. And indeed, the ideas about heaven should transform and um, translate into everything we do. So that's the first reason. The second reason is contemporary wisdom in our world today has allowed us to believe that heaven is whatever you want it to be. It is almost a universal opinion that heaven will be different for different people. Almost like vacation properties. Some like the beach, others like the mountains, Still others like the lights and actions of the big city. Whatever floats your boat, as we say. But is heaven to be considered in the same way? Does that not leave God out of the picture? And shouldn't he be in the picture? To help illustrate this point that we all have different views of heaven, Let's look at one of our cultural's, culture's primary teachers of philosophy, the great Homer Simpson. Hmm. Bob Simpson, welcome to Protestant heaven. Ruin one, hurrah! Poppy, have you seen Dash? But where's Homer and Bart? <gasps> Well, up here, that feels good. Now dance, your heavenly gobs. I wish my family was with me. Sorry, Marge. They're just not our sort. Well, then, I'd like to speak with Jesus. I'm afraid he's gone native. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it! Oh, guys, I'm serious! No! Now, in that clip, it's obvious that there's two, two visions of heaven presented. The Protestant vision and the Catholic vision. Of course, those are both Christians. And if you were to expand the vision to atheists' vision of heaven, 
Muslims, visions of heaven, Jews, Hindus, um, Buddhists, uh, everyone, anyone and everyone, you'd have even more than two just different versions. The third major reason this series will be important is that the wisdom of our Catholic understanding of heaven needs to be applied to the contemporary controversies regarding the connection between receiving Holy Communion and the status of one's state of one's soul in general, or the status of one's marital situation in particular. In other words, the correct understanding of heaven is the basis for the critical reading of chapter 8 of Amoris Laetitia. More on that later. So, when I gave my mother a copy of Peter Kreft's Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Heaven, I subsequently realized that this rather philosophical meditation needed some down-to-earth practical unpacking. If my mother, one of the most wonderful, religious, indeed holy women I know, claims to be somewhat in the dark about what heaven will be like, except for the fact that she knows, she hopes, she believes she will be with my dad, certainly a well-founded hope. Um, but what more? What more is there? Can we dive into the logic of love will guide us to understand more deeply what heaven is like? We should all take this uh, topic seriously, and for that I encourage you to subscribe to Unlike Other Nations.